wildlife work I think is, is very difficult to do in terms of just the bear doesn't care whether or not you work for geographic. They don't subscribe. You got to meet them on their terms and try to problem solve that way. And I love the fact that the pictures can go to work for years and years and years to help people that are trying to save them. To become an expert, somebody people come to just because they know that you can answer their questions and solve their problems. When you do that, you're working in something you already like that you love and you won't really work a day in your life. I mean, and you'll get paid for it because you're going to be really good at it because you love doing it. A lot of these animals, they're just not sexy enough to most people to warrant a full coverage of them. But maybe together, maybe that maybe that'll work. And we can tell really interesting stories based on just about anything. It's all intentional because without any size comparison on black and white, the minnow is as impressive as the polar bear. Right? They're the same size. And we can light them properly. We can, we can light them so that you can see what they actually look like in, in clean white light. So that's a great thing. And we get eye contact, especially because we're primates ourselves. We want to basically, you know, get people to connect. Something else looking at us in the eye registers with us. Good zoos do a great job of educating the public. And I often think if we turn the world into a place where you can only see animals on, on this, you know, on your smartphone, and where nature is some sort of a quaint notion that your grandpa talked about, nobody's gonna save anything. We're barely saving stuff now. And most of us of our age know what it's like to walk through a woods or play in a stream. Younger kids, not so much. So zoos allow us to see and smell and hear a lot live wild animals and, and keep that connection going. I went to uh, University of Nebraska and I I got a job at a, at a newspaper in Kansas called the Wichita Eagle, and then I met a geographic photographer at a seminar, and a few years later, I was working for him pretty steady. I love the fact that the pictures can go to work for years and years and years to help people that are trying to save them, and so it's, that's very appealing to me, is that they're pictures with a purpose. Figure out what it is that motivates you, what you're really passionate about when you're not thinking about work. Like, is it saving dogs or cats, helping them be adopted? Is it, is it homelessness or hunger issues in your community? Is it roadside litter? I mean, or is it trying to help save critically endangered species? What is it? It could be helping somebody learn to read. I don't know, it could be, it could be literally anything. But the thing is, do it and then stick with it and become an expert. Somebody people come to just because they know that you can answer their questions and solve their problems. When you do that, you're working in something you already like that you love and you won't really work a day in your life. I mean, and you'll get paid for it because you're going to be really good at it because you love doing it.